The Poacher, a serious ballad by Thomas Hood. Read for LibriVox.org by Chris Pyle. But a bold pheasantry, their country's pride, when once destroyed, can never be supplied. Goldsmith. Bill Blossom was a nice young man and drove the Bury coach, but bad companions were his bane and egged him on to poach. They taught him how to net the birds and how to noose the hare, and with a wiry terrier he often set a snare. Each shiny night the moon was bright to park, preserve, and wood he went and kept the game alive by killing all he could. Landowners who had rabbits swore that he had this demerit, gave him an inch of warren, he would take a yard of ferret. At partridges he was not nice, and many, large and small, without hall's powder, without lead, were sent to leaden hall. He did not fear to take a deer from forest, park, or lawn, and without courting lord or duke, used frequently to fawn. Folks who had hares discovered snares, his course they could not stop. No barber he, and yet he made their hares a perfect crop. To pheasant he was such a foe, he tried the keeper's nerves. They swore he never seemed to have jam satis of preserves. The shooter went to beat, and found no sporting worth a pin, unless he tried the covers made of silver, plate, or tin. In Kent the game was little worth, in Surrey not a button. The speaker said he often tried the manners about Sutton. No county from his tricks was safe, and each he tried his lucks. And when the keepers were in beds, he often was at bucks. And when he went to bucks, alas, they always came to hurts. And even oxen used to wish that he had his deserts. But going to his usual hants, old Cheshire laid his plots. He got entrapped by legal burks and lost his life in knots. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Poacher, a serious ballad, by Thomas Hood, read for LibriVox.org, by David Lawrence. But a bold pheasantry, their country's pride, when once destroyed, can never be supplied. Goldsmith Bill Blossom was a nice young man, and drove the Bury coach, but bad companions were his bane, and egged him on to poach. They taught him how to net the birds, and how to noose the hare, and with a wiry terrier he often set a snare. Each shiny night the moon was bright, to park, preserve, and wood he went, and kept the game alive by killing all he could. Landowners who had rabbits swore that he had this demerit. Give him an inch of warren, he would take a yard of ferret. At partridges he was not nice, and many large and small, without hall's powder, without lead, were sent to leaden hall. He did not fear to take a deer from forest, park, or lawn, and without courting lord or duke, used frequently to fawn. Folks who had hares discovered snares, his course they could not stop. No barber he, and yet he made their hairs a perfect crop. To pheasant he was such a foe, he tried the keeper's nerves. They swore he'd never seemed to have jam satis of preserves. The shooter went to beat, and found no sporting worth a pin, unless he tried the covers made of silver, plate, or tin. In Kent the game was little worth, in Surrey, not a button. The speaker said he often tried the manners about button. No county from his tricks was safe. In each he tried his lucks. And when the keepers were in beds, he often was at bucks. And when he went to bucks, alas, they always came to hurts. And even oxen used to wish that he had his deserts. But going to his usual hence, old Cheshire laid his plots. He got entrapped by legal burks, and lost his life in knots. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Poacher 
A Serious Ballad by Thomas Hood Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist But a bold pheasantry, their country's pride, when once destroyed, can never be supplied. Goldsmith Bill Blossom was a nice young man and drove the berry coach, but bad companions were his bane and egged him on to poach. They taught him how to net the birds and how to noose the hare, and, with a wiry terrier, he often set a snare. Each shiny night the moon was bright, to park, preserve, and wood he went, and kept the game alive, by killing all he could. Landowners who had rabbits swore that he had this demerit. Give him an inch of war and he would take a yard of ferret. At partridges he was not nice, and many, large and small, without Hall's powder, without lead, were sent to Leadenhall. He did not fear to take a deer from forest, park, or lawn, and, without courting lord or duke, used frequently to fawn. Folks who had hares discovered snares his course they could not stop. No barber he, and yet he made their hares a perfect crop. To pheasant he was such a foe, he tried the keeper's nerves. They swore he never seemed to have jam satis of preserves. The shooter went to beat and found no sporting worth a pin, unless he tried the covers made of silver, plate, or tin. In Kent the game was little worth, in Surrey not a button. The speaker said he often tried the manners about button. No county from his tricks was safe, in each he tried his lucks. And when the keepers were in beds, he often was at bucks. And when he went to bucks, alas, they always came to hurts, and even Oxham used to wish that he had his deserts. But going to his usual hands, old Cheshire laid his plots, he got entrapped by legal burks and lost his life in knots. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Poacher, a serious ballad, by Thomas Hood, read for LibriVox.org, by Greg Giordano. Newport Ritchie, Florida. But a bold pheasantry, their country's pride, when once destroyed, can never be supplied. Goldsmith. Bill Blossom was a nice young man, and drove the Bury coach. But bad companions were his bane, and egged him on to poach. They taught him how to net the birds, and how to noose the hare, and with a wiry terrier he often set a snare. Each shiny night the moon was bright to park, preserve, and wood. He went and kept the game alive by killing all he could. Landowners who had rabbits swore that he had this demerit. Give him an inch of warren, he would take a yard of ferret. At partridges he was not nice, and many, large and small, without Hall's powder, without lead, were sent to Leaden Hall. He did not fear to take a deer, from forest, park, or lawn, and without courting lord or duke, used frequently to fawn. Folks who had hares discovered snares, his course they could not stop. No barber he, and yet he made their hares a perfect crop. To pheasant he was such a foe, he tried the keeper's nerves. They swore he never seemed to have jam satis of preserves. The shooter went to beat and found no sporting worth a pin unless he tried the covers made of silver plate or tin in kent the game was little worth in surrey not a button 
the speaker said he often tried the manners about button no county from his tricks was safe in each he tried his lucks and when the keepers were in beds he often was at bucks and when he went to bucks alas they always came to hurts and even oxen used to wish that he had his deserts but going to his usual haunts o cheshire laid his plots he got entrapped by legal burks and lost his life in knots end of poem this recording is in the public domain the poacher a serious ballad by thomas hood read for LibriVox.org by jim mcdougall but a bold pheasantry their country's pride when once destroyed can never be supplied goldsmith bill blossom was a nice young man and drove the very coach but bad companions were his bane and egged him on to poach they taught him how to net the birds and how to noose the hare and with a wiry terrier he often set a snare each shiny night the moon was bright to park preserve and wood he went and kept the game alive by killing all he could landowners who had rabbits swore that he had this demerit give him an inch of warren he would take a yard of ferret at partridges he was not nice and many large and small without hall's powder without lead were sent to leaden hall he did not fear to take a deer from forest park or lawn and without courting lord or duke used frequently to fawn folks who had hares discovered snares his course they could not stop no barber he and yet he made their hares a perfect crop to pheasant he was such a foe he tried the keeper's nerves they swore he never seemed to have jam sadus of preserves the shooter went to beat and found no sporting worth a pin unless he tried the covers made of silver plate or tin in kent the game was little worth in surrey not a button the speaker said he often tried the manners about button no county from his tricks was safe in each he tried his lucks and when the keepers were in beds he often was at bucks and when he went to bucks alas they always came to hurts and even oxon used to wish that he had his deserts but going to his usual hands old cheshire laid his plots he got entrapped by legal burks and lost his life in knots end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Poacher, a serious ballad by Thomas Hood. Read for LibriVox.org by Larry Wilson. But a bold pheasantry, their country's pride, when once destroyed, can never be supplied. Goldsmith. Bill Blossom was a nice young man and drove the berry coach, but bad companions were his bane and egged him on to poach they taught him how to net the birds how to noose the hare and with wiry terrier he often set a snare each shiny night the moon was bright to park preserve and wood he went and kept the game alive by killing all he could landowners who had rabbits swore that he had his demerit give him an inch of warren and he would take a yard of ferret at partridges he was not nice and many large and small without hall's powder without lead were sent to leaden hall he did not fear to take a deer from forest park or lawn and without courting lord or duke used frequently to fawn folks who had hares discovered snares his course they could not stop no barber he and yet he made their hares a perfect crop to pheasant he was such a foe he tried the keeper's nerves they swore he never seemed to have jam satis of preserves 
the shooter went to beat and found no sporting worth a pin unless he tried the covers made of silver plate or tin in kent the game was little worth in surrey not a button the speaker said he often tried the manners about button no county from his tricks was safe in each he tried his lucks and when the keepers were in beds he often was at bucks and when he went to bucks alas they always came to hurts and even oxen used to wish that he had his deserts but going to his usual haunts old cheshire laid his plots he got entrapped by legal burks and lost his life in knots End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Poacher, a serious ballad by Thomas Hood, read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio. But a bold pheasantry, their country's pride, when once destroyed, can never be supplied. Goldsmith bill blossom was a nice young man and drove the very coach but bad companions were his bane and egged him on to poach they taught him how to net the birds and how to noose the hare and with a wiry terrier he often set a snare each shiny night the moon was bright to park preserve and wood he went and kept the game alive by killing all he could landowners who had rabbits swore that he had this demerit give him an inch of warren he would take a yard of ferret at partridges he was not nice and many large and small without hall's powder without lead were sent to leaden hall he did not fear to take a deer from forest park or lawn and without courting a lord or duke used frequently to fawn folks who had hares discovered snares his course they could not stop no barber he and yet he made their hares a perfect crop to pheasant he was such a foe he tried the keeper's nerves they swore he never seemed to have a yam satis of preserves the shooter went to beat and found no sporting worth a pin unless he tried the covers made of silver plate or tin in kent the game was little worth in surrey not a button the speaker said he often tried the manners about sutton no county from his tricks was safe in each he tried his lucks and when the keepers were in beds he often was at bucks and when he went to bucks alas they always came to hurts and even oxon used to wish that he had his deserts but going to his usual hants, old Cheshire laid his plots. He got entrapped by legal burks and lost his life in knots. And the poem this recording is in the public domain. The Poacher, a serious ballad by Thomas Hood. Read for LibriVox.org by Noel Badrian. But a bold pheasantry, their country's pride, when once destroyed, can never be supplied. Goldsmith. Bill Blossom was a nice young man and drove the Bury coach, but bad companions were his bane and egged him on to poach. They taught him how to net the birds and how to noose the hare, and with a wiry terrier he often set a snare. Each shiny night 
the moon was bright to park preserve and wood he went and kept the game alive by killing all he could landowners who had rabbits swore that he had this demerit give him an inch of warren he would take a yard of ferret at partridges he was not nice and many large and small without hall's powder without lead was sent to leaden hall he did not fear to take a deer from forest park or lawn and without courting lord or duke used frequently to fawn folks who had hares discovered snares his course they could not stop no barber he and yet he made their hares a perfect crop to pheasant he was such a foe he tried the keeper's nerves they swore he never seemed to have jam satis of preserves the shooter went to beat and found no sporting worth a pin unless he tried the covers made of silver plate or tin in kent the game was little worth in surrey not a button the speaker said he often tried the manners about sutton no county from his tricks was safe in each he tried his lucks and when the keepers were in beds he often was at bucks and when he went to bucks alas they always came to hurts and even oxon used to wish that he had his deserts but going to his usual hants old cheshire laid his plots he got entrapped by legal burks and lost his life in knots end of poem this recording is in the public domain